We want to go live now to Brandon and Truett in Providence for an update on the protests taking place. Brandon. Yeah, Mike, things have been going on here for just over 40 minutes or so. We've been seeing leaders of Black Lives Matter speaking for most of the time here, although Jamal Gonzalez's family, that is the 24-year-old who was injured in that moped crash on Sunday, they are here. The stepfather was speaking just a few moments ago, doubling down on their belief that this was racially motivated. Police, though, making it clear when we asked them yesterday that they had no intent of doing that. They were called there because of what you're hearing, sounds of hundreds of mopeds and ATVs that were racing up and down the street. We know this started at India Point Park and moved to Elmwood Avenue about two miles from where we're at is where that crash actually happened. They say they were there because it was a matter of public safety and we know something happened involving uh, this police cruiser in some way with the moped. We just don't know at this point. The investigation is not clear if that cruiser actually hit the moped at all. I want to bring you in just briefly. You can see some of the crowd. It is dark here, not well lit, but we are seeing hundreds and hundreds of people gathering on the square in front of Knight Memorial Library as the program is continuing here. We're going to, of course, keep monitoring this throughout the evening and we'll be sure to pass any updates along to you live in Providence. Brandon Truett, 12 News.